Estuaries aren't the only places where plants have to deal with salty extremes. Let's take a look at how genetics is helping some other plants deal with high salinity. Have you ever seen a salt pan? These natural formations occur in some places in Australia where water evaporates, leaving large deposits of salt. The more salt there is, the harder it is for plants to grow. Hi, my name is Stefan. I'm trying to understand how plants can grow on salty soils. Plants need a whole bunch of different things to live and survive. And a little bit of salt is one of those things. However, too much salt and the plant struggles to get rid of it. To see why, we need to look very closely what makes up a plant. Every living thing is made up of cells. Cells have this basic shape, a sort of container that holds all the parts that make the plant a living organism. Like a skeleton in a human or animal, the cell wall of a plant cell gives the plant its shape or form. It's also made of a very valuable substance, cellulose. Cellulose is strong and keeps a lot of different types of plants standing upright. When grounds become saltier, plants have difficulties in making cellulose. In our research, we examine seeds with modified DNA. This contains instruction for the cells to make proteins. Proteins are like tools to help living things to do different jobs. And this particular protein helps plants live in salty condition by supporting cellulose production. If it is, then these plants will have a better chance to survive in a salty environment. We plant lots of seeds, carefully growing them here in our growth rooms. These seeds hopefully contain the gene to make the special salt-tolerant protein. But how do we know that the plants are actually making this protein? We use this. It is called a spinning disc confocal microscope. We use it to look at individual slices of a cell. Using this machine, we can actually see and identify if the protein exists in the cell. This is important research because we hope to be able to help farms to grow plants where the land is becoming saltier. 